And a North Carolina man is grounded this morning after trying to complete an amazing journey across the Atlantic. His mode of transportation? Hundreds of balloons. Michelle Miller is with us. Michelle, good morning. Good morning, Nora. Well, the multicolored launch looked like a scene out of a Hollywood movie. But Jonathan Trapp's dream to reach Europe was short-lived, ending just 12 hours after it began in a remote part of Canada. The bizarre, if beautiful, liftoff began with a countdown, a kiss, and some kind words. Your dream is coming true. That dream and 370 balloons of every color in the rainbow lifted Jonathan Trapp upward from a soggy softball field in Caribou, Maine, just a few miles from the Canadian border. The 39-year-old businessman and licensed pilot hoped to become the first person ever to float across the Atlantic Ocean in a capsule suspended by a cluster of helium-filled balloons. <laughs> Trapp's fantasy seems almost torn from Disney's 2009 fantasy, Up. In 2009, Trapp became the first person to use cluster balloons to cross the 22-mile English Channel, along for the ride in a wicker chair. That peak is where I crossed. A year later, he set another record, completing a 12-hour journey over the Alps in a craft lifted by 54 balloons, which Trapp individually cut away to return to Earth. Whoosh! That is how we come down, guys. But his planned 2,500-mile trip across the ocean carried far more risk than anything he's done before. Severe low temperature gear, negative 20 Fahrenheit, the cold water survival suit, uh, multiple sleeping bags. Trapp spent two years preparing for the journey, which was to have taken up to six days to complete. But just 12 hours after his splashy departure, he was forced to return to Earth. On his Facebook page, he wrote, hmm. This doesn't look like France. A GPS tracker shows Trapp reached an altitude of over 20,000 feet before descending and landing in a remote part of Newfoundland. And in a statement, representatives for Trapp cited a technical issue as the reason behind the forced landing. At this point, it's still unknown whether Trapp will take another shot at achieving that dream. And what a dream it is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you got to love his spirit, don't you? I know. I just get goose pimples every time I think about him. And it's so reminiscent of that movie that just moves so many of us. Yeah. Yeah. Every kid dreams about being able they to be lifted sure up by do. a balloon. They do. Thanks, Michelle.